Hi, this is Rich Harrington for PhotoFocus, and today I'm going to show you how to get a video that you've completed in Adobe Photoshop off your computer and ready to share. Now, there's a couple of steps to this process, but it's pretty straightforward. First off, you may want to watch your video back in real time to make sure that everything's working. Photoshop uses RAM on your computer to play back the video, so if your video computer just is a little bit slower, you might want to choose an option here under the panel menu called Allow Frame Skipping. And this is just going to drop the playback quality to maintain real-time playback. So here we go. It might drop a couple of frames along the way, but I get an idea of how my video is working in real time. Everything seems fine to me. I like the color grading, I like the editing, the timing and pacing of the video that I've created. So I'm ready to export this. First thing I do is choose File Save to capture all my work to date. Then at the bottom of the panel, there's this little arrow indicating Go Out, and that's the Render Video button. You can also access this under File, Export, Render Video. Same idea. Let's click and it gives me the Render Video dialog. And now you need to choose where you want to go. By default, it's going to target the same folder where the project lives, so maybe that's a good place for you to stick the file. If not, choose a new location. You can also create a subfolder. In this case, I'm going to call it Exports, so I have the files all organized. Next, you choose what you want to create. You can make a still image sequence if you're exchanging this with others in a professional high-end pipeline and they just wanted the stills, but we have music here and sound and I want to include that. So I'm going to use the Adobe Media Encoder. Next, you need to choose between three file formats. DPX is a still image format. It's not going to include the audio. And so I'm not going to use that here. Really, the choice becomes H.264 or QuickTime. You'll use QuickTime when you want to create high-quality, professional movies that are designed to be handed off to people using professional video pipelines. These are not files for sharing on the web, but they are a great way to archive your file. And most people will choose uncompressed or JPEG 2000 high-quality. These are reasonably high-quality files that you could back up and export. For now, though, let's make a file for sharing on the web. So I'll choose H.264. From the preset category, there are lots of choices, so you're going to need to pick something that matches your general needs. I want to share this video file to Vimeo, which is a format that also works very well for sharing to Adobe Behance. Let's go ahead here and specify that I want to use the HD 1080p because that matches my document size. You'll see there that the document size is available and it chosen, that's great, but I don't want to use the preset frame rate it's very important that you change this to match your document frame rate. Otherwise, you're going to be adding new frames, which dramatically increases the render time and essentially softens and resamples the video. In this case, I'm going to stay with Progressive, which is going to work best for exporting for the web. Fields, upper field and lower field first, are really used for interlaced delivery of video, sometimes for things like broadcast television. Photoshop is used by a wide range of professionals, which is why you have so many choices. I'm going to tell it to export with the document color space here. That's great. And color management really doesn't exist with web video, so I'll uncheck that. At this point, I'm doing the entire work area, so that looks great. Everything seems fine. I've got everything all set here. So I can click render and the file will be created. Now, this takes just a little while as it goes through and processes, but this is okay. Photoshop is doing the maximum quality here, and what it's doing is analyzing your video file, applying the professional color corrections, doing the transitions that we've specified, and it will make the video file that's ready to share. Now, depending upon the speed of your computer, this can be anywhere from a 3 to 1 ratio to a 6 to 1 ratio for the time. So a 1 minute video could take a few minutes to export, but that's totally normal. We'll let this process finish out and then the video will be ready to share out to other websites.